physical lot has been triggered, whether it is an auto-generated lot or you are creating it manually, the next task is to do the result recording. Have multiple transactions for the same purpose. So even for the result recording, we do have multiple transactions, T codes, which can be used. Most frequently used transaction is QA32. There are few other transactions also, which are specifically for the result recording. So these are the work list where we can do the result recording. So if we are using an inspection point, then we normally use this QE51N transaction. Let's see uh, in the system how these uh, transactions we can use. Transaction QI32 to see what all lots are created. And if I remove the filter for the date, we can perform multiple tasks using this QI32. Enter some filters so that I can get limited data. I can enter C1000 as my plant. Inspection lot origin is 14 and just execute it. So these are the lots which are created for calibration inspection, which is 14. If you want to do the result recording, normally we select the lot and click on this result recording option. Then we will be allowed uh, to do the result recording since there are inspection points assigned for uh, calibration. So let me select this and here we can enter the Results. The status it is showing as can be processed. So I can enter the result, and these are the specifications which are specified for it. So I can enter the specification here. This is my inspection lot number, which is 252. Press enter key. So the status has been changed to 5, and the valuation has been added. Click on save. Just continue it. So this is the lot. And if I refresh it, select this. And since two equipments are assigned, let me click on assign. And I'm selecting the second one. Enter the result for the second one also. And then save it. Continue. And then refresh it. So it is inspected, select this and go for the usage decision. Here we can enter the usage, press enter key. We want to see the details for it. Uh, these are the results which are entered for this. Then click on save. Pop-up is coming for ready to use and all. Continue. Now if I refresh it, then 250. Two is removed from the list. This is one way which I uh, can use to do the result recording for lots. The other way is we can use result recording work list. QE51N. Enter. Just uncheck this inspection point here in this. Okay. And then click on execute. My split was 4 and the lot quantity was 12. So, 3 inspection points has been generated. Because after three, uh, 4, I have added as a split. Yes. So, then you will be doing the result recording for it. Whatever is your result, press enter. It is because we have added a manual one. Then for the second inspection point, we will be entering the result. Then the third one. Here you can see the inspection point. A full description will come. Okay, at what time you are doing the result recording for this particular MIC. It is a uniquely identified number which is given, which will have first date, then the time, and the quantity number. I can enter the same filter like my plant is 1000 and the origin is 14. And if click on continue. So these are the lots. 252 just now we have cleared. These are the equipments which are assigned. And these are the MICs which are assigned to these equipments. If I take 260 out of this, there are three equipments and other details are there. 
and you can enter the result for these MIC select this and here you can enter the values. These are the specifications which are specified for it. Mean value one, enter. Uh, so here you can see the validation has been added. And for the second MIC, again, I'm entering same specification, which is and press enter key and then click on save. So continue. We have done the result recording for 260. One equipment we have inspected. So this is another way to E71 enter. Present time I bring filter for inspection lot origin as 14 and then click on execute lots which are coming so if i select say a um, few lots like uh, 60 just now we have tried and let me select one more and click on execute just now i have entered the result for one equipment for the second one also i can enter my results so and the valuation i can enter say this and the specification here, you can see it is showing me as the mean value between this range. So if I enter SIP1, enter, and for the second MIC, I can enter the value as this. Enter, and then click on save. So here you can see the valuation has been done, and the lot number is 260. Save it. And if I click on next, because I have selected two, lots so it is 61 now and i can enter my valuation point as this and here the mean value it is giving me the value or the specifications which are allowed and i can enter the same and for the second also i am accepting it and entering the value say this we entered and then you need to click on save. So here you can see the valuation has been added. So let's save it and go back. So just now we have done the result recording for 60 and 61. Let me open QA32 report. Has released and calculated, refresh it. So now you can see both the lots has been inspected if i open the second one and just uh, click on result if i select this and select this so this is the value which i entered and for the second one if i select so for that i have entered 101.5 so this is another way and one more transaction is there for result recording if i open another session and this time I'm entering QE72 enter. I'm entering the same filter which I have entered, which is say plant is 1000, origin as 14, and then click on execute. So here you can see there is no lots at present it is showing me, whereas uh, QE71 transaction, it is showing me the lots for the origin 14 because uh, this is a tabular result recording for the inspection point QE71, which is a work list where we can enter the result for the lots which has inspection point. And if I double click on it in the inspection specification, this is the group and group counter details in the assigned inspection point. If I go for the header part, inspection point is 300, which is for the equipment. Let me go back and this time I'm entering my filter as 03. Okay. And then click on execute. So here you can see few lots are there and these lots are without inspection points things and if i want to see the details for this inspection lot 
double click on it and in the inspection specification here if i go for the header part here you can see there is no inspection point assigned in a 0, 01 and 202 if i select these two and click on execute you can see the lot number is 201 and 202 this is the mic and these are the results which are entered for it if i want to edit the results i can double click on it and i will be allowed to edit the these are the specification and i can unlock it and if i make it say 100 instead of 96 press enter key and then click on save and you can see it is locked and even for this lot number i want to change the value double click on it and uh, at present it is not editable editable so set it for processing and again i am entering the value say 100 for the same okay so valuation is accepted and then click on save this is again a work list where several lots result recording can be done easily. QE73 tabular result recording for the characteristics. So if I remove the filter and I'm entering my plant as 1000, the MIC for which you want to do the result recording. So enter say length as the MIC and click on execute so show you the lots where this MIC is present. So if I want to do the result recording for these both the lots, select this and click on execute. Work list where I can enter the results. So these are the specification here for this lot already these values are entered and let me enter some value for the first lot seven press enter key click on save and if i want to edit this also to seven only so let me unlock it now it is in editable mode and i can enter the same value here also press uh, enter key click on save results which are entered are seven and seven so if i want to edit it i will say six and for this also i'm entering say six Press enter key and then click on save. So the results has been saved. Click on save. Now if I go to uh, QA32 report, enter, then let me remove the filter and then executing the filter for inspection logs which we have. And the lots which we have inspected is second lot is 742. Both 48. And now if I execute it, so these are the lots which are if I here you can see this has been inspected. Let me go to the results or so let me go back. Now, if I again go to this, okay, and we will go to the results and that the value is this, it is not locked, let me lock it. So, since the manual valuation has been entered, you have to enter the manual valuation as it accepted or not. And let's save it. So, for the second one, if I go to that same sheet and execute it, so here you can see the valuation has been added and for this also I want the valuation to be done. Double click on net and then click on valid. So here you can see valuation is coming, accepted. Let's go back and uh, okay. So few other MNCs are also there because this is a calculated characteristic. Save it. And I'm accepting it. So now save it. Now the valuation has been added. 